welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at the 120 set of Starjoy colored pencils. We are going to unbox these. I am going to do a little bit of a review as I look at the pencils with all of you. And we are going to do a blend test at the end of the video and see how these pencils perform. If you enjoy videos like this, please do make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notification on so that you always get notified every time I post a new video. If you check the description box below, you will find links down there to my Facebook group as well as my email list and to my Patreon if you would like to support me there. They come like this from Amazon in this cardboard wrapping that goes around the actual pencil tin. And then it is wrapped in plastic. So let's go ahead and get this off. This is the front of the box. Of course, it says Starjoy 120 colored pencils. It shows you right here all the colors that you will receive in the box. And it's looking like they do have numbers on them. It says Artist Quality Premium Soft Lead Core 120 Unique Colors. Let's go ahead and turn it over. And again, it has their branding on it 120 colored pencils with the Starjoy branding and all of the colors laid out bigger than on the front. Then it says HD Legend Industrial and Trading Limited and it gives you an email address so that you can contact them if you need support. Let's go ahead and open the tin. And again we have all the colors listed even bigger on the inside of the front of the tin. We have this little styrofoamy black plastic piece laid over the top of your pencils for protection. It looks like mine are all nice and nothing is broken, which is wonderful. Let's take a closer look at the colors that we get in this pencil set. So. I can already see right off the bat that I get a gold and a silver and then we are getting into our reds and it doesn't look like we have more than just a couple reds. Here we have a much more deeper red and then a reddish brown and so it looks like we might have five reds. This one looks as though it has a lot of orange in it and then we get into our oranges and I'm wondering if we have more oranges because it doesn't even look like we have many oranges here in this set. I don't know, we'll have to see. I may just have to swatch these out, we'll see. This looks more like a salmon type color. And then these colors here, let me hold that a little bit closer. I'm trying to hold it close enough so that you could see the leads of the pencils because that's how you'll determine what the actual color is because as with all budget friendly pencils we all know that the lead of the pencil doesn't necessarily match the color on the barrel so we've got another what looks kind of like a salmony color here look at the differences in this one that looks like a salmon type color and then this one over here maybe this is a brighter orange I may have to lay some of these out on paper just to test them and see what the actual color is. But then we get into our yellows. As we move down, we have our yellows that have a bit of orange in them. It looks like we just have one of those. We've got several greens. We have this tray up here that has greens all the way from here to here. And then when I come down to this tray and I look at this one, it looks like it's very hard to tell because some of these look blue like this one that's stuck in here is blue oh my gosh these are so out of what I would assume is color order they do have names on the pencils so this one is olive green so that is a green but when we come over here this one looks like very blue Viridian I'm going to have to swatch that and see, but these look like 
we've got some blue greens here and then we've got some greens and a more truer green and let's go ahead and move down into our blues and then our blue purples I guess and it looks like we've got more blues these are so out of color order y'all and then we've got some lighter purples more purples and a pink and I wanted to look at this because I wanted to see just what we have as far as purples and pinks so I've got this magenta looking color here which looks very similar to the colors up here in this tray and then I have these lighter pinks I love pale pinks and we've got some more now see this looks like a red oh my goodness it looks like we have some more reds thrown in here this is going to need a lot of work <laughs> This is going to need a lot of work. And then we have more peachy tones in here as we come out of the pinks with the mixes of reds. And see, this one is even called peach purple. I don't know, I'm gonna have to swatch these. I really am. So then we've got our browns here. We have a brown that has a lot of red in it, like a sienna type color. And then we've got our grays. It looks like we have a good mix of grays though. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the actual pencil. So we have the name on the pencil. It says Purple Light and then 087, so it has a number. And then it says SJ Starjoy. We have the little silver ring here at the tip of the pencil. The actual tip of the pencil is covered, so we really can't take a look at it to tell whether or not the core is centered, but this is what the lead of the pencil looks like when it comes to you. Of course, we all know that I'm going to sharpen that with my Doll 133 and we're gonna see how sharp of a lead we can get or what it looks like after we sharpened. And then we're gonna do a blunt test so that we can see how well that lead handles itself. I am not sure whether or not these are wax-based or oil-based. I went through on the website and I read all of the description and there's nothing there that notes that. I've heard a few people, quite a few people say that these are oil-based, but in the description on Amazon, it says that they are soft core. Being that the description says they're soft core, I would sort of assume that they are wax-based. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the blend test now and we're gonna see how they lay down on the paper and I should be able to tell by the way that they lay down whether or not they're oil-based or wax-based. I chose a few pencils to go ahead and do a blend test and I chose some pinks because I thought that those would show up really nicely on camera and these are going to be just a regular monochromatic type blend when we do those but for the blues that I chose I decided to go with some colors that are a little bit different they all have blue in them but they are all very different types of blue so we're gonna see how those blend into one another but first I want to go ahead and test them out on my doll 133 I just wanted to be able to see what kind of lead this pencil sharpener would produce as well as how these pencils felt in the sharpener like I've told you in my previous videos you can totally tell how hard the wood is in a pencil when you put it in the sharpener and you start turning the lever because you will be able to tell when you turn the lever how hard the wood is on the pencil and it usually helps me to also determine the quality of the pencil <laughs> and these did feel a little bit hard when I turned the lever that is the lead that it produced on the pencil which of course it's beautiful you all know how much I love my beautiful sharp leads I want to compare a couple of these because I want to be able to see if there's a difference between any of the pencils this one it did feel about the same as the other one Let's go ahead and try to sharpen one of the pink ones 
and see if maybe there is a difference. Actually, that one did feel a little bit different in the pencil sharpener. The pink felt a little bit softer than what I felt when I did the blue ones. That's so interesting how that happens. And the doll 133 is stopping for me once it gets to uh, where it needs to be as far as the lead of the pencil. See, it just automatically stopped for me. So that's really neat because I've noticed with the doll, some with some pencils, it will stop automatically for you. And with other pencils, like when I sharpen my Prismacolors, I need to know when to stop it. So it's different depending upon which pencil you're sharpening. Let's go ahead and get into the blend test. I'm going to go grab a sheet of my Spring Hill paper and we are going to try to blend some of these colors together and really put them to the test. Let's go ahead and do the pinks first. I am going to tell you what colors I have here. This one is called purple, although the barrel looks pink. <laughs> it's actually called purple. And then I have Opera Rose. That's a cool name. That's Opera Rose 084. And I have Purple Light. And see, to me, that looks pink. So we're going to see how these colors lay down and what they look like on the paper and see how well they blend. Let's go ahead and start with the darkest color. These are definitely oil-based pencils. I can tell already just by laying it down right away. Let's go ahead and come in here with our next color. And lay that one down. Now remember, this is just our first layer. And I'm not pressing hard on the paper because I don't want to get rid of all the tooth quite yet. But this is our lightest color. Now I'm going to go back to my darkest color and I'm going to come back the other direction. And I'm going to pull it down just a little bit below that transition line. Now I'm going to come back with a second layer of my mid-tone. And I'm going to pull this down just a little bit into my lightest color. Now I'm going to lay down the lightest color again and come back with this one with a second layer. Let's go ahead and try a third layer now and see what happens. And I'm going to go the opposite direction. And they seem to be blending well. And the pigment does seem to be piling layer over layer really nicely. And let's go and put one more layer of this third color. And I don't know, let's see how dark we could get with these. Let's go ahead and add another layer of this color and then one more layer of our lightest color it looks as though it blended nicely I can't really see that much of a transition line they do look like they blended really really nicely they are a fairly hard pencil so if you are heavy-handed when you color and you're looking for a harder pencil and you want a budget set these may be a really good choice for you you're gonna go ahead and try the blues now remember the blues that I chose they are different shades of blue so we are gonna see how they work together because now we're really gonna put them to the test so I'm gonna start with my darkest blue this one is called Ultramarine, and I'm gonna lay a light layer of that. This one is Teal Green Light, and I'm gonna come in and start at that transition and pull it down and lay a layer of that one. And 
Now I have my cobalt turquoise and I'm going to start at that transition and add this one now. Now let's come back just like we did previously with a second layer. These perform very, they are definitely oil based because they perform just like I would expect an oil based pencil to perform. Now in the description on the website it says soft core, but I don't know, these are pretty hard pencils. That's my second layer of my mid-tone. And this is my second layer of my lightest color. Now let's come back. Look how well they're blending though. They are blending really well. Let's add, what is this, number three. So we're adding the third layer of the darkest color, the third layer of the mid-tone, and then we've got the lightest tone. So they do blend really well. I will give them that. They do. I don't really see much of a transition here and these three colors are all varying shades with blue in them this one has a lot of green in it so if we look at that those would tend to be colors that are a little bit harder to blend together and they blended very nicely if you have these pencils and you have been working with them for quite a bit I would love to hear in the comments what you have to say about these pencils. Do you like them? Do you not like them? And I don't know, like I think they are a good pencil. I wasn't able to get, I mean, it looks like most all of the white is filled up in my blend test. And I had about, I think about four layers with both of the combinations that I blended together and they feel, I don't know, let, you know what, let me do one more thing. I'm going to go grab my polychromos and I want to see the difference in how these feel compared to polychromos just kind of side by side. So we're going to do that now. I went and grabbed three different colors from my polychroma set. So let's see, I have bluish turquoise and cobalt green and I have light cobalt, cobalt turquoise. So we're going to go ahead and lay these colors down. I want to be able to see how many layers I can get down with the polychromos as opposed to what I was able to do with the star joys over here. So let's go ahead and start laying some of these down. I also want to be able to see and feel what the differences are between the two pencils. Let me go ahead and lay my darkest down. Already I can tell you that the way that they lay down compared to the polychromos, they are very similar. So this was my darkest color. This was the bluish turquoise. Now I'm going to lay my, what was this one, the cobalt green. So I'm going to start on my transition line and I'm going to lay my first layer down of this. Now I'm going to come in with my lighter color and I'm going to lay a color down of this one. They feel so similar, so, so similar. Let's go ahead and come back with the darkest color and lay some of this down, a second layer going the other direction. And again with my mid-tone. And again with the lightest. Now we're going to go back up to the top and we are going to do the same thing again. So third layer. And when you're using oil-based pencils, always remember that you should not apply too much pressure because when you apply too much pressure, all you're doing is you are 
flattening the tooth of the paper and so there is nothing else for the paper to grip onto. And this feels about the same as the Star Joys did when I was laying them down as far as layers and coverage and everything else. And I think this may be the same amount of layers that I laid down with the Star Joys. And if I look at them and compare one to the other, the Star Joy here and the Polychromos here, it looks like more of the weight of the paper was actually covered with the Polychromos with the same amount of layers. I'm pretty sure if I go back and I edit this video and I see that I probably laid more layers in with one pencil or the other, I will correct that, but I think that this is the same amount of layers as I did, and I usually always use the same amount of pressure. So if we look at the two in comparison, it looks like I just have a little bit more coverage, a little bit quicker with the Polychromos than I did with the Star Joy, but I kind of like the way the Star Joy looks because I still see some of that texture. Sometimes I like a little bit of the white of the paper to still show. And I don't know, maybe we should come back and go over the entire thing with our lightest color and try to burnish the colors out just a little bit. So if I come back in here and I wanted to do a little bit of burnishing with the Polychromos, I am going to come in and use a little bit harder pressure and I'm just going to go over the colors and pull them all together. Oh, these pencils are like a dream to work with. They really are. I love the Polychromos. Look how nicely they just all came together when I did that. Let me go ahead and grab my Star Joy pencil that I used and we are going to do the same thing here with this one. So I'm gonna come up here at the top. They feel so similar. They really, really do. Wow, look at that. This, y'all. <laughs> These pencils are a pretty darn close dupe to the Polychromos. They really are. I'm actually shocked. Shocked. <laughs> I cannot believe it. If you have these pencils, you need to let me know what you think of these in the comments below because I've had a few people tell me that these pencils are scratchy and I have not experienced that. I'm gonna go through my set and I'm going to swatch out a few more colors. In fact, let's do that right now. How about we go ahead and grab the Star Joys and test out a couple more of the colors. And I wanna try varying colors because I wanna see if I experience the same scratchiness that some people have told me about. And I don't know if some of these people may have gotten a faulty set or not, because I, in this blend test and just laying these down on the paper, they're fabulous and they are so close to the polychromos that it's actually unbelievable. So let me go ahead and grab a couple different shades. I have an orange. I have a brown, and should we try a purple? Here is a purple. So I'm just gonna swatch these out. Let me go ahead and sharpen them to make sure. I tell you guys all the time, when you get your new pencils in the mail, um, no matter what pencil set it is, always make sure that you sharpen them because most of your pencils when they come to you they generally have a waxy film on the tip of the leads when they come from the manufacturer in the mail to you you want to make sure that that waxy film is always removed because your pencils are going to perform much differently straight out of the box than they would had you sharpened them and took the time to just 
remove whatever it is that was protecting the leads of your pencils. So let's go ahead and lay the brown down and we're gonna see. No, it's fine. Okay, so let's try an orange. These are laying down really nicely. Really nicely. Now let's try our purple. No, they lay down really nicely and it's just unbelievable how much they compare to a polychromos. I, I'm just, I don't know, I can't. <laughs> I'm kind of in shock. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have a link down in the description box below if y'all are interested in getting these pencils for yourself. If you are looking for a dupe of the Polychromos, then these actually might be it. I am going to play around with these off camera a little bit more and I'm going to see what I come up with. <laughs> So my final thoughts would be that these are really good pencils and I don't know, they're just really good. And for what I paid, $25 for 120 pencils and they lay down almost just like a polychromos. They have the same hardness. They feel exactly the same when I lay them down on the paper. If I do a side-by-side -side comparison, just like I did here, you cannot even tell the difference. Like, you really cannot tell the difference. Y'all have to let me know what you think in the comments below if you feel like you see a difference in this video. But I am looking at it straight on in real life, and... I do not see a difference. These are so close to the polychromos. If you're interested in getting these pencils for yourself, I will have a link down in the description box below so that you can find these. But I don't know. Last night they were on sale for only $25. And for only $25 for 120 pencils that performs this closely to a polychromos, which are very expensive <laughs> for 120 pencils is crazy. So I don't know y'all, is this real life? <laughs> I would love to hear what you have to say about these pencils. If you have these pencils, comment below and let me know what you think about them. If you have any questions about these pencils, comment also below. I always try to come back and answer all of my comments and that is my review and those are my final thoughts. If y'all would like to see me color with these pencils, please let me also know in the comments below because I really want to play with these a little bit more to get a little more familiar with them and really see. But you can see here that I swatched out three different colors from different color families and I did not get any scratchiness. So those of you that were saying that these are scratchy, you may have gotten a defective set and I would contact Amazon and see if they can replace them. I hope that this video was helpful. Everything that you saw in this video will be linked in the description box below. Have a wonderful day. Happy coloring. Bye.